Hello and welcome to sunny Florida. As you can see, I'm not in my normal study and won't be for a little while because myself and my wife have bought an RV out here in the state and intend to live and work out here for about half of our year, traveling back and forth. We love to travel and North America is an enormous place and there's so much to explore out here. One of the best things about our industry is the fact that we can work from anywhere and with anyone. So I'm still taking on projects despite the fact that I'm traveling so feel free to hit me up if you've got any work that you think I might be useful to you in, whether it be consultancy, strategy, conversion rate optimization, or prototyping. Or if you need some coaching, I'm always here. After all, I've got an expensive RV to pay for now. Talking of work, I've got one of those really frustrating projects on at the moment. You know the ones, the ones that lack any clear focus or objectives. You feel like nobody has sought through the project in any detail and it's little more than a vanity project. It could prove hugely frustrating when you've got projects like this that lack clear clarity, whether that is because they lack key performance indicators, they're poorly defined in their goals, or have got competing objectives that, that uh, conflict with one another. It becomes painfully hard to make decisions about direction and when the project inevitably fails, you're often the one that gets the blame. So I've learned over the years to never take on a project without a clear set of well-defined goals to work towards. But of course, that doesn't always mean I can turn away work without a clear set of goals. Like you, I rarely have that luxury. In many cases, it's just a matter of guiding the client through the process of creating their goals because it's something that they've not done before or they're not familiar with the need for it. Most organizations have some form of company strategy, so I usually start with that. And I take that vague company strategy and explore with the client how we might use the website to help achieve those goals. Those then turn into website objectives and I look for measurable ways of tracking those website objective performance in terms of key performance indicators. I try to have a handful of key performance indicators in three main areas, conversion, engagement and usability. Now, I try to have indicators in all three of these areas to stop the website from becoming too skewed in any one direction. For example, if you focus purely on conversion without considering usability or engagement, you'll quickly end up with a site full of dark patterns. It's the subject I cover in a lot more in a series of articles that I've written on key performance indicators. So if you're interested in learning more, you might want to check that out. That said, despite my best efforts, I will occasionally come across clients who stoically avoid setting measurable objectives for a project. When that happens, I take it upon myself to create my own set of objectives and key performance indicators based on what I know about the organization. I then send these to the client and tell them that these are the metrics that I'm gonna to seek to improve during the project. Doing this sometimes actually forces the client to start engaging with me over metrics and so we can have a conversation. But even if it doesn't, at least I've clearly stated what I'm going to do and they can't complain later when that's what I did. I guess what I'm saying is don't let the stakeholders brush you off when it comes to asking for objectives and don't let them get away with poorly defined woolly goals either. Having a well-defined set of objectives will help you argue for good decisions during the project and avoid you becoming the scapegoat for any failings that might happen. However, most of all, the main reason I like to have well-defined key performance indicators is that they can be really satisfying. It feels good to know that you've generated more leads or you've made the website easier to use or you've made it more accessible. We often feel like we don't really achieve that much in our jobs, but having some specific numbers you can improve over time provides a much needed sense of achievement. So I'd encourage you to get on to that as soon as you possibly can.